Get ten of them around, didn't they? Bloody hell. Not really anything overly worth taking. Ah, now these big guys are definitely worth- OH SHIT! Those guys tend to have some pretty good loot on them. So we've got food and we've also got a 10 mil mag. So yeah, these guys are definitely worth keeping your eyes open for. Bloody hell! Wow! Do you reckon pickaxe? Yeah. Might as well take all this scrap metal. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right. Seven hour time. Oh, it's 10.30 in the morning there. Oh, wow, I didn't know that, did. I'm not sure where I thought you uh, lived, actually, to be honest, Kale. Got me uh, all confuddled now, mate. Right. So, I think we basically buy... I mean, we might have to spend another day, but we're going to get to Deersville next. We kind of know we can come back here at any point and we should be relatively safe, so... We're just going to carry on along this road. Um, we've got food. We've got water. I've got a cold cup of coffee, which is really pissing me off. I think I'll take a little break in about 10 minutes. Go and get myself another one. Now that's weird. Look, you can't... You can't always... I think if you craft something, you can have as big a stack as you want. Probably 999, I don't know. But if you pick something up, the stacks look to be somewhat limited. Oh, you're in Canada. Ah, right. Uh, to be honest, mate, I don't think I knew that. Or if I did, I stupidly forgot it. My apologies. Right, let's check the map. Might be worth checking over. What do you reckon? Nah, let's 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 get on our way to uh, the other town. Now the spawn system is kind of weird in the game at the moment. The closer you get, all the spawns for the zombies are kind of predetermined. Oh, hang on one sec. So I was just sitting here talking about my cold coffee and my girlfriend's just kindly brought one in for me, so there you go. Good karma, obviously. Um, what were we jibbing on about? Yeah, the spawn system's kind of weird. At the moment, if you're near a town, you are going to get a lot more zombies spawning than if you're out in the wilderness. So, as a long-term survival strategy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the first couple of days really just familiarizing myself with the game because it's all very well having read up things on the wiki and spoken to people about it it's a completely different kettle of fish when you're actually playing the game so uh, how big is the world the world is that mate at the minute so it's kind of split into sort of four biomes as such you've kind of got the green northern area which is where we are You've kind of got this purple zone here, which to be honest, I can't really recall exactly what that is. You've got this down in the sort of southeast, which is um, like a desert biome. And then here in the southwest, near Gravetown, you've basically got... Um, that's kind of like the nuclear holocaust zone, very wastelandish, you know, Fallout 3 kind of thing. They are... I mean, the game at the moment, it's a predetermined map. But uh, it will be procedurally generated by the time they're finished. So in other words, it will be a little bit like Minecraft in that sense. You know, randomly generated worlds. Well, not randomly, but procedurally generated. Um, obviously, with the next update, they are looking at a snow biome being added. So they must be extending the map. To be honest, I quite like the thought of having a, uh, a predetermined map for the first, you know, First couple of weeks that I'm playing it, get to know the areas. Alright, oh wow, what is all this here? Look. So 
Is this all corn? Oh, am I trampling it? No. Now, I don't know if this is in, but I did read that apparently with corn you can make, is it corn syrup? And if you mix corn syrup with, I can't remember actually, now I've said that, you can actually make fuel. What the hell? Can I not hit that? Hey, come on! Bugger. If that's the case, then that pretty much solves all your fuel problems. <laughs> now that is interesting. I'm trying to think what else you need to make fuel. Oh, this would be so much fun as a, as a co-op game though. You can just imagine a shit ton of zombies all storming out of there, can't you? Oh my god. And what the, re the really interesting thing that I, I, I kind of really am excited about is they're adding like a stealth system. So we can all go the Walking Dead crossbow action. In fact, I'll show you that in a sec. Come here, you bugger. Oh, no, we're not having that, are we? Now, this is not the best weapon for taking these out, I'll be honest. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, I'm hitting. Must be counting as a block. Oh! Oh! Can't loot him. Is that big bugger gone? Oh, there we go. Whoa! There we go. We're getting some nice uh, weapons put together here now. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's just plain terrible. Got no excuse. Smack him in the f <sighs> See, it is quite hard to uh, loot some of the zombies because of the grass. It kind of interferes with the... Yeah, okay. We'll leave that bugger. Now, I'm guessing... Is there a way in the garage? Oh yes, there's a door around the side. I was about to hack through it. <laughs> to use the blame mine. Oh my god! Holy shit! Now, if you don't know anything about this game, <laughs> you're probably thinking, what's that idiot? Oh my god, that is so awesome. We've just won seven days to die. Oh, that is... That, guys, is the MFing jackpot. That there, my dear friends... Where's it gone? <laughs> is the auger. The most sought-after item in the game. <laughs> and we've picked it up on day two. Remember that if you pick the game up, guys. Near the cornfields, you might be able to get it in there. The auger has just meant we can progress about... Oh my god, look at the dog over there. It's, it's basically a drill. And you can mine at an absolutely... Oh my god! You can mine at a ridiculous rate with the auger. And, in case you were wondering why I was talking about fuel earlier... Oh, headshot. I didn't know you could kill on one. Oh, that's brilliant. I didn't know that. Oh, right. Now. Jesus crap. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Ah! Oh. Quite lucky, actually. I really didn't take any damage then. Okay, it's 150. Now, what we're going to do... There's Dursville, right? We are going to make...
<laughs> I would never do that to you, Kale. I would never call you Callie, mate. I know your name, boss. Oh, I can't believe we've... Oh, I've got to stop picking that stuff up because I'm just wasting it. Right, it's really important now that I find out how to... Uh, make fuel for the auger. It probably comes with a little bit and I've actually, weirdly enough, I have got three cans anyway. So, uh, what we're going to do... We're going to set ourselves up like a little... Uh, See, this is nice and secluded here. We're going to do lots of hit and runs into Durrsville over here. So we're going to set up a temporary camp just over here, I think. Where do you reckon? Uh, here might not be a... Mm, yeah, why not? Why not? So we're going to basically dig ourselves an underground bunker. It's not going to be a permanent home, it's just going to be while we do our raiding runs. It'll, it'll basically serve us well throughout the entire game. Actually, you know what, I should probably punch this lot, shouldn't I? I don't know if there's an increased chance of getting the grass that way, but... Uh, we'll just assume... Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get rid of the glass jar. I've got hundreds of those things. Uh, go away! We've got loads of time to do this. I really didn't want to rush my first little uh, encampment. Because obviously I've, I'm not really built in this game before. Oh sod it, let's just hit everything with a bloody axe. Oh, I can't believe we found an auger. That is just... Bloody awesome. Uh, does loot respawn? Um, that's a very good question. One I can't answer. I, I genuinely don't know, mate. Um, having said that, you know, one weird thing that happened. If you recall, you know where we just spent the night? I'm sure the evening before we went in there that I smashed those metal fences down. And then when we came out in the morning, the metal fences seemed to be there again. Now that wouldn't make sense, but I'm sure that's what happened. Now most of the stuff in the game you can actually... I think the only weapon that you can craft at the moment is the pump action or sawn off shotgun. I can't remember which one. And the only weapon you can make ammunition for are the shotguns. You can actually make shotgun cartridges, which we'll have to do at some point. So, in terms of sustainability from the weapons, that shouldn't be an issue for us. Right, we've cleared a little little area, so what I want to do, we're going to get this place lit up, because that will slow zombies down. I do actually need this, I tell you what, it takes a lot longer than you, it's not like Minecraft where you can bloody like build a fortress in sort of like a couple of hours. Oh, am I full? Yes. Okay, uh, let's think about this. I could really do... Uh, I'm just trying to think. Jesus Christ. I really need to make a chest. What will... Have I got any wood on me? Yes, we've got lots of wood. Can I make a chest? I think it's called a storage... Yes, you can, look. Storage chest. I'm pretty sure to plywood planks. Yes! Excellent. Um... I can't do it. Oh, shh, I keep making it.